Hello class, this is section 7.4 and in this video we are going to introduce the concept of the convolution and this convolution stems from this question Is it true that the Laplace transform of f times g is equal to the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g? And notice that the answer is true if we replace the products with pluses if we had like a we know that the Laplace transform of f plus g is the Laplace transform of f plus the Laplace transform of g because Laplace transforms are linear but it turns out that the answer for this question is no and it's pretty easy to check to find the counterexample let's just set gt equals 1 and what happens here is that we just are left with Laplace of f on the left hand side, a Laplace of f on the right hand side, and a Laplace of 1 next to Laplace of f. But we can check pretty easily that the Laplace function of 1 is 1 over s. So we in fact get Laplace transform of f equals Laplace transform of f divided by s or rather the Laplace transform of f times 1 over s because that's what the Laplace transform of 1 is and these two are clearly not equal so the next question is can we come up with a kind of multiplication of functions so that this is true so that we can get the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g and the answer is yes if we define this product where f convolve with g is equal to the integral from t to 0 f tau g t minus tau d tau so we define a product of f and g this way and notice that this integral is a function of t the t is in the upper limit of the integration but this is an expression that depends on t, so it's a function of t. And the reason we define this integral, this convolution product, is that the Laplace transform of the convolution of f and g is equal to the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g. So this convolution product gives us precisely what we need.